Hi everyone, today is a very special explained episode because I have my dear colleague Moritz with me and we're going to talk about a very important topic. So what's the topic? Yeah, the topic is energy management. We know it from the news every day, from our smartphone, from the television. We use too much energy worldwide and it's very necessary that we reduce the CO2 emissions and therefore we will talk about our strong energy management system with Loxon and how we can make the world greener, reduce the CO2 emissions and reduce the costs we have. So we're talking about how to protect the environment mm -hmm. with uh, saving energy because you know buildings we live in are responsible for about 40% of all CO2 emissions worldwide. Yeah. So you can imagine if every one of us just reduces a little bit of the CO2 emissions you have on your personal side. And we don't talk about just smart homes or the family homes you're living. We talk about hotels, we talk about restaurants, we talk about malls, we talk about everything in the commercial building sector. And if we reduce the CO2 emissions here, we can do a lot for the environment worldwide. Exactly. So energy efficient buildings are not only reducing costs on your side or your business's side, they're also more comfortable to live in. Like yeah. just imagine, you know, your building has a very intelligent um, heating and cooling system. So yeah. your rooms have the perfect inner climate, humidity levels. Yeah. It's so much healthier for us as yeah. people who spend a lot of time, like, I don't know, like 90% of our times yeah. inside of buildings. So yeah. we live, in a better climate and also save energy and save money. Yes, and the um, effective energy management also reduced, we talk about costs. So we talk about that we can save 10 up to 30% of mm. the energy costs you have with intelligent energy management system like Loxon. So for example, we, a normal family home has a consumption of 200 kilowatt hours per, per square meter mm -hmm. uh, in the whole year. So we can save up to two to six euros or what's the equivalent in dollars up to probably up to, like around seven dollars. Uh, yeah, uh, just per square meter per year. So you mm -hmm. can just uh, calculate a little bit. How much space do you have? How much square meters do you have in your home and how much money can be saved just with intelligent energy management system. Exactly. Also in some countries, in some areas, um, whenever you want to build a new building, you might actually be required to manage your building intelligently yeah. and put in technologies that allow you to um, have you know, intelligent energy management. So, yeah. you know, sometimes it's not even a want, it's actually a need. Yeah, of course. So what does intelligent energy management with Loxon mean? So we have uh, developed a three-step model, uh, how you can save energy, how you can make the world greener, how you can reduce the CO2 emissions. And the first step, Jasmine, is all about monitoring. Exactly. What does it mean? So it might sound self-explanatory, but monitoring actually allows you to know exactly where energy comes from, where it goes, where you might have energy leaks and where you're wasting your energy literally. So in order to then go ahead with the next two pretty easy steps, yeah. um, the first step just allows you to actually know what's going on and knowledge is power. Yeah, and the second step then is reducing the basic power consumption your building mm -hmm. have. Even if you're not in your building, even if you're doing nothing, your building needs energy. So it's just the basic lighting all over the day. It's the heating, it's the cooling. Mm -hmm. And if you know, okay, if you have monitored, where do you need energy when and uh, how much energy do you need? You can now with Loxone reduce the basic power consumption so that you can see, okay, um, we talk about scheduled presence, for example. So just if you're at home, you're heating, you're cooling, you have lighting in different mm -hmm. rooms and the rest of the day it will be turned off or reduced to a minimum. So second step is reducing the basic power consumption. And it's you're not only have. for homes, it's also like if you think about hotels, oh, you don't yeah. You don't need to cool your hotel rooms if there is no occupancy. Yeah. So really just cool or heat your hotel room yeah. when there's actually a guest arriving. The exactly. third step is, Jasmine, shift 
the energy consumption. What does this mean? How can we shift energy consumption? Okay, so um, depending on where you live, you might have, um, you know, peak and off peak prices. So your electricity prices are not constantly uh, at the same rate. So you can actually benefit from knowing when electricity prices are lower and energy is cheaper. Um, with the spot price optimizer that allows you to actually see and optimize your energy consumption based on the prices, yeah. um, you might actually be able to shift uh, high consumers to um, times in the day where you will find cheaper electricity prices. Just a practical example, um, we talk about the bathroom. So you're not in the bathroom the whole day. You're just in the bathroom mm -hmm. uh, one or two hours in the morning mm -hmm. and in the evening. And the rest of the day, you don't need to heat your bathroom. But for example, if you um, have a high PV surplus uh, from your PV system, you can um, yeah, benefit from this for example, at 12 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, in the noon, and you see, okay, we have high energy uh, produced at the moment. We can turn on the heating system to okay. use this energy, mm -hmm. heat up the bathroom, even if you're not there, but your building will save this energy. So in the evening, when you would have to buy energy, you don't need to buy it because your room is already been heated up and saved in the building itself, yeah, in the walls of your building. Mm -hmm. So this is just one of the points where you can yes. shift uh, energy um, easily, but it's very important that the, that the building, that all the areas in the building are communicating with each other mm -hmm. so that the heating knows what the cooling does, so that the wall box knows what the PV system uh, at the rooftop uh, is doing at the moment, so that we need the information, okay, which area is doing what at the moment so that all the other areas in the house can react to it and make it the most efficient way to save and use the energy you have. That's why we call it a holistic energy management. It's, you know, it, everything comes full circle. The shading interacts with the heating and the cooling. So you save money and you still have a comfortable living space. What does this mean in the practical way? with Loxone. So we talk about our system, the Loxone config and the different function blocks we have here to make your energy management system intelligent. So what kind of function blocks do we have, Jasmine? So we have the meter function blocks, for example. Yeah. Those allow you to actually know where the energy comes from, how much energy do you have. Uh -huh. uh, we have different meter function blocks for all the needs you have. We have unidirectional, exactly. we have bidirectional meter function blocks so that you can measure the energy in the whole house. And the next step, this is the, the basic information we need for the, I would say it's the most powerful tool we have in the first step to monitor, to make this visible is mm -hmm. the... Energy flow monitor. Yeah. So energy flow monitor just collects all the information and make it visible that you see mm -hmm. where does the energy come from, where does it go to. So exactly. now we have the information, which energy we need, which energy we have. What can we do with this information with the next function block, Jasmine? The energy manager. Yeah, energy manager does what? The energy manager, um, yeah, can turn on high consumers in your house if you have enough surplus. For mm -hmm. example, um, if you have a sauna and uh, you have enough PV surplus in the afternoon and you don't have other consumers at this moment mm -hmm. um, which will need the PV surplus, you can say, okay, let's turn on the sauna so that we can increase our self-consumption and uh, use the energy as efficient as mm -hmm. it is really possible with the Luxon Energy Manager. And then, on the opposite, we have the load manager, Jasmine. Mm -hmm. So the load manager actually protects your buildings and makes sure that your building doesn't suffer from an overload. So if you are connected to the grid and you're, you have a lot of consumers connected, um, the load manager will ensure that maybe not so necessary consumers will turn off in yeah. the event or it, you know, in the case of an overload or yeah. a potential overload. Yeah. The next function block we have is our power supply and backup. Mm -hmm. Power supply and backup is a power supply. It's a real product we have and mm -hmm. you can provide all the energy you need with the power supply for all 24 volt components 
you use all the 24 volt components of Luxon. So in this uh, power supply and the function block already is inserted, inserted the information where does the energy go in this moment? So you can exactly measure, okay, how much uh, energy is needed by my 24 volt lighting, how much energy is needed by my audio system. Mm -hmm. And in an event of a failure, you will get an information, okay, something is wrong there in this area of your house. So you can react to it. Or um, if there is an overload or there is a blackout, mm -hmm, all exactly. because th this is the backup in power supply and backup. <laughs> um, it has a backup function. It has batteries connected so that the 24 volt components of Luxon will uh, work ongoing yeah. uh, if there is really a blackout. And the, the next um, block we have talked about before, Jasmine, is the spot price optimizer. Yes. What so, does this little helper do? So as mentioned, the spot price optimizer will help you know when the electricity prices or energy prices are cheapest in your area based on your tariffs and your provider. So you can actually shift your energy consumption to off peak prices and um, you know times where you can save money. Yeah. The last block uh, we will just talk about now in the theory is our wall box block. Mm -hmm. We have an own Luxon wall box and the wall box function block um, allows you to intelligently load your electric vehicle. So if you have, for example, just a little bit of PV surplus, other wall boxes can't go that low to just load your um, electric vehicle with just a little bit of mm -hmm. energy. Also, we have the option to say, okay, there is a power button and now we need the full power to load our electric yeah. vehicle as fast as it is possible. Mm -hmm. So the wall box function block does manage the whole energy around your electric vehicle. So let's just resume a little bit what we have talked about now in, mm -hmm. in this episode. The first step of our three steps model is to monitor the energy. Exactly. The second step is to reduce the basic power consumption your building has all over the day. And the third step is to shift your energy. Exactly. So what does this all do? It helps you save the planet to be a little bit dramatic. It helps you also save you know, your money that you work hard for. And also it makes your living spaces, your working spaces, your buildings so much more comfortable. So if you want to get more information, just have a look on our website, luxon.com. You will find everything here. If you have, a, for example, a commercial project, we have our Luxon Energy Heroes that helps you to identify, okay, mm -hmm. where can we save energy? What is the potential of our building? And uh, they will make a plan with you or just contact your local uh, Luxon partner around your corner to uh, get the most effective, the most powerful energy management system all over the world. So we say thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, Give us a thumbs up and stay tuned for more energy management content.